Uh, and then kick it back now. We um we had a little press conference and uh we got a little rolling and and you know working out, built up a little sweat. Not much. Okay, so uh, talk to us about your latest win. Well, my latest win was a long time ago, which was in I think it was like last April with um, Cal Yabra. That was um that was that was a while ago. I had so many so many fights fall off in between then, so it's been a while. But it was um it was a good fight. I pretty much you know controlled the controlled the whole uh, the whole fight and, and and got the decision victory over him. I uh, knocked him down a few times and rocked him a few times and couldn't put him away. But uh, he was a good opponent. I think he was like eight and two at a time. So it was it was a good win for me. You got a big fight this weekend. Just talk about it. Uh, Derek Maven. Uh, he's a pretty big dude. He's um, uh, I think he's supposed to be. I what well, he's listed at six four. I think he might be around six two. But uh, he's a big guy. He's walking around, walking around now. I was like, man, there's no way he's two oh five. It looks like he's about <laughs> two twenty still this right. morning. So uh, I don't know, but he's a big good dude, and you know, looking at film on him, I know he likes to push guys around and, and lay on guys and things like that. So I try to stay out, I try to stay out of that kind of situation with that big dude laying on me. Yeah, for sure. And we had him on the show last week. He sounds very confident, maybe a little overconfident. Um, he asked for his temporary release from Strike Force to do this fight, so he's going to have some massive pressure on him now. Yeah, I don't know what he was thinking with that. Uh, I guess I, I I think he's a confident dude to begin with because looking at his fights, I could I could see that he fought guys that had um, a lot of fights when he had when he was when he only had a little bit of fights. So I could tell when when he did that, I knew he wasn't gonna be no problem with him fighting me when he was looking for an opponent when he and his brother was saying I knew he was, like somebody like him would take the fight because I knew he already fought guys that had more experience than him. Me having a, about the same amount of experience as him, I knew. He, he he wasn't going to shy away from that. He's a warrior. He got warrior spirit. And most fighters don't really feel like nobody can beat them until they get beat. So, I mean, that ain't, ain't no thing. That ain't no thing for me. Confidence is good. I mean, I like the confidence in coming in. That I ain't got to chase him around. Yeah, for sure, man. So, uh, just talk to you about your keys to victory in this one. I think my keys to victory is going to be staying off my back and staying off the cage. And pretty much, if I could do that. I don't, I don't see how I can lose. I don't think he's gonna be able to touch me with his hands too many, too many times, or or be able to even, you know, ground and pound to a, to a, you know, ground me into a pound to a pulp or nothing like that. But I think he will be able to like hold me or hold me up against the cage or something like that. So I don't want to be in that position. Let's talk about your weight cut. How many pounds did you have to drop for tomorrow? Oh man, I'm I'm a light two or five now. I'm like um. At my, my, on my heaviest day, I'm 215, so oh, wow. I don't have to cut that much weight. When when I start cutting, you know, I I I be at 210, so I don't, it's nothing. I I can eat going up until every day up until the fight, and I just eat and cut a little bit of water, eat, cut a little bit of water, things like that. So I really wanted to get the fight at 85 for this one, but they couldn't find nobody at 85. So uh, to me, uh, it's no problem. I take the fight at 205, and I fight. I've been fighting guys that's big, taller than me, and bigger than me. So it's all good. Who will you have in your corner for this one? Uh, Jordan Rinaldi. He's a guy in my camp. He just uh he just fought on the um the Ultimate Fighter show. He was the first guy that 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 was on that show. I think okay. he got, got caught in um a guillotine right right there, and he was like winning the stand up, got caught in the guillotine. But he's he's out of my camp. So my the the guy I normally have with me is uh he's security for Jimmy Buffett. So. They're going to be in tour over there in uh, New Orleans at this time. So, Okay, man, so if you uh, pull the win out here, do you think this fast tracks you back to the UFC? Nah, I doubt it. I think um, I think they need to see me at 85 for, for that to happen. And like I said, it's, it's cool with me. I'm, I'm, I go out, I get a payday, and I fight, and I'm, it's all good with me to fight 205, but I think my home is going to be at 85. I think they need to see that I'm, I'm capable of doing, you know, getting at 85 and, and and handling talent at 85, but it does, it does just put uh, uh, a light on me. You know, I think people, a lot of people, see me in fight and just, you know, get my name back in people's mouths and things like that. So sure. I think it does, you know, put, you know, put put a light, a shine a light on me, so to to get more, to get fighters that want to fight me at 85 or things like that. So I think it's still a good thing. 
Oh, yeah, man. We appreciate you taking the time tonight. Anything you'd like to promote, such as your sponsors, or throw out your Twitter or Facebook? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Twitter, Show Enough MMA. Um, uh, sponsors, I got uh, Scrap Fightwear. And I got uh, uh, Fight TV. So, um, just want to thank my family and, and all of the day. We appreciate you taking the interview just a few days out before the fight, and I'll be watching. Looking for you to get it done, man. Yes, sir. Okay, talk to you soon. Yep.